Hello everyone, we are back on the server Pie and Stories and today we will test some auto attack build on the test server of Pie and Stories. The purpose of the video is first to provide a good sight over um, the different possibilities you can do for auto attacking on the servers with the change which has been made on several classes. And also to have a clear sight on which uh, builds are weak and could probably um, need some love and some change to improve this. Well, we start with a perma novice to have a root idea of what is the basic DPS of, uh, of a character. And we will always try on the Devias with as only uh, card modifier, the um, skeleton worker card, and no undo, just to do not false the result. It might be counterintuitive, but the super novice doesn't have that great DPS compared to the average. It is just the average, 1,600 um, DPS. The gankrog is better than the super novice, in fact, 2k DPS. It is not a surprise that the double dagger seen as more DPS is it is the best one for pure auto attacking. Some other can have higher DPS, uh, just one in fact, but not purely uh, auto attack. Now a surprising point, it seems that the um, standard Easter agility scene has less DPS than the crit scene on this target, while this target just have um, just have 10 death. It is probably just because we are using uh, we are comparing three skeleton worker card and another one which are um, critical on on fish monsters. So the crit scene is in the average because uh, we have provided on the server, we have given him uh, the access to basic potion. Not to surprise too, the crit knight is trash. But what? Why would you use um, a peco for auto attacking? Well, just because you have more um, more movement speed than the rogue or the scene, you have access to the peco and the knights. Well, the good point about the knight is, without lowering his DPS, he can still have access to bullying bash if you find a big pack of mob, contrary to the rogue, which will need to give up triple attack to get access to bullying bash. But, well, he has his own um, AoE skill too. If you want to do pure to attack with a Peko, you should probably go for a cruise, uh, spear cruiser, because you can see that the DPS is more comparable to the double dagger scene than uh, than others. It's even better than the rug, so the rug can gank auto steal, but the cruiser has more DPS and more movement speed. Now a man build. The, um, the battle wizard. It doesn't make m much sense to make such build and your only advantage is defense. You have access to quagmire to get uh, just a crazy flea which also work on um, bosses and you have also access to safety ball. To compare if we are on mem battle builds the pure battle sage it doesn't really make sense and the DPS of the battle sage is not that better compared to the, um, the battle wizard. But you have access to undo and if you undo yourself it changes everything. Well that's the base of the build, you are a battle sage but you have access to undo to higher your DPS and if, if you do that you catch up with other DPS. But the point is on Pion Stories we have uh, make scrolls for self undo a bit more accessible so it's relatively enough this battle build. Now another build for Sage 
the insights uh, inside stage the inside has more dps than the the battle uh, stage you can see well 4000 2000 that's very uh, random because you depend on two random factor first you need endo to proc and then a high level of endo to proc on this uh, endo which um, make it not really reliable at all well the dps in in the average but you also have the downside that you have uh, a lower um, movement speed or lower uh, survivability uh, lower flea or uh, more random factor which um, make you unable to to know how much time you will need to kill the target the battle insights so a balance build which are enabled with the new welder card permits to have a better dps than um, than others Now the priest, well, the battle priest has lower DPS than most other uh, melee build, aside, aside the man perma novice, battle wizard or pure battle sage, but it is a support, so it's still good because people will want to party with you, it's a good, it's a good character to party with people and have fun. To compare in the battle accolades, uh, well, you have one of the strongest, the no combo monk, pure agility monk, which has no other combos than just triple attack, and the DPS is just crazy. So let's see the DPS. Well, two thousand five hundred DPS. <laughs> so that's almost a double dagger scene uh, but with access to heal, access to access to heal, access to increase agility, access to warp, access to everything and if you uh, you get chain combo it making a, a killing mashing with 4k dps <laughs> and well with such dps just imagine you get an endo it just doesn't make sense to get combo finish because you kill so fast then the targets will instantly die when you when you reach the target so that's just completely stupid it is not even possible for me to calculate properly the dps of this uh, combo finish monk um well it is not a pure auto attack you are it uh, also a skill skill spammer so he, that's uh, that explain why you have more dps than others oh the blacksmith was a good surprise like he has more dps than the rogue and uh, no uh, more dps than a rogue without triple attack uh, but more uh, but less dps than a rogue with triple attack so if you want a character who has access to a good dps and on the map where you will find uh, all the time packs of mob the blacksmith is better than the rogue the alchemist is also quite surprising because if you do not summon your plants, your DPS is just super bad. But if you you um, you set up your plants, so it takes time, but you you eat more than 2k DPS, you have more DPS than a rogue. It's almost comparable to um, to the monk or the the spear crews. The auto attack enter uh, agility dex is below the average. You can compare it to a battle priest, but well, it is more an MVP build. You are not supposed to auto attack with this um, agility dex enter. But it is good to not to notice that if you use uh, MVP enter and you just auto attack pops, you still have um, a decent DPS. And also you have a better access to the endo with elemental arrows. The pure blitz enter, well, 
almost have the same DPS on a single target than the um, Agility Dex Hunter. But he has a small AoE, so it could have some use, and he doesn't depend on um, on the elements. Um, and also, he, he doesn't care at all about the defense of the target. The Treat Hunter, uh, Hybrid, Blades, and uh, Auto Attack, normal Auto Attack, has a bit better DPS than others, so it has some use, but only for uh, MVPing. Or also on big defense targets. And now we finish with the Bard. Well, I've not tried the Dancer, but Bard Dancer is almost the same. And we can see that it doesn't make m much sense to make um, to make it purely auto attack. You have less movement speed, less defense, less everything uh, than other melee. So well, unless you would want to do um, to do some support at the same time. Well, thank you for watching. Just this part of the video to explain to you why I do not try with steel spammers. Just because it only depends on how you will sustain the cost of the SP. Will you have int? Won't you have int? It depends a lot on, on the build. And if you just want to, to have the biggest DPS, well, just add uh, everything on site. See you later!